I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rock it like that. The rock special is just you who ought to check the flow rock, but damn, damn, they say rock will be too big. He got turned into pebbles. Bam, bam. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Um, I just wanted to touch base with y'all. Um, first and foremost, we just hit 58,000 subscribers. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that peep this content, whether in passing or religiously. Um, it's just basically me, my man Showtime SP, talking shit about battle rap, unfiltered, uncensored, just the rawest form. Um, I know a lot of the time people be like, when I watch y'all, it's like I'm chilling with my niggas at the barbershop or I'm hanging out on the block. That's what we want. We want the organic feel. We don't want nothing that's, uh, you know, compromised or anybody telling me I can't say this or I can't talk about that or I can't go. I can talk about three things. Whatever I want. So let's get into it. Um, Daylight, salute to Daylight um, and everything that he's got going on personally, professionally. His battles just dropped versus Tay Rock, where he had one of the performances of the year. He went crazy, round for round, bar for bar. And there's so many layers and layers and layers and layers of bars. You know, even though we recapped his battle, we missed. You know, I'm be honest, like when you really, really go into it, there's so many bars that were missed. A lot of them. Like, there's so many. Like, for instance, uh, he had a bar. If you lost faith in the enemy, you must no longer believe in God, right? God writing. Like, God write, let there be light. You know what I'm saying? If you look online, there's a, there's a term called God writing. Then he had another one. Today we see atheists in a foxhole, right? Foxhole. So, fox is a network. There are no atheists in foxholes, right? And hole is a, you know... Hole in the rock. That's actually a, a, a bar about a rock, and a rock equals a cave. And then he had another one. You know the model module, like M O D D O U. Mod is a device, right? A mod is a device, and a module. Like it's just so many bars, man. Like I could just keep on going and going, 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 going. And we did what we could in f about 40 minutes, but. A real recap of every single line that Daylight had would probably take uh, a day or so. It would take a very long time. But I felt like we did a good job. Um, a lot of people are giving us good reactions to it. But uh, Daylight says, in our conversation, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to like put the actual, like we have a conversation. But I don't want to put it out there, the whole thing. Um, I'll read, I'll tell you what I, and I told him that I would talk about this. Um... He said he doesn't have a matchup for Summer Madness. He said he's not going to be on Summer Madness. He wrote me and said, P.S. I have no match for Summer Madness. I tried everything I could do. Nobody wants to battle me. See, this is why I never take battle rap serious. I just ended my own bag. I said, laugh my ass off, you lying. He said, oh, my kids. It's the same shit that happened after Rich Dollars. Everybody ran. Only person that said yes was Speed Dollar, and he died too. Uh, my only option was Big T. He got to get his stock up first. The match has to make sense. And, um... You know, all of the battlers that he would have battled or that he wanted to battle was like, uh-uh, not taking him. He's too dangerous right now. And while that is true, he's dangerous, I don't know why people would have necessarily... I mean, I know why people would have necessarily ran, but wouldn't have took the battle. He wanted Rum Nitty, uh, and Rum Nitty's got drugs coming up in a matchup that we could not wait to see. We Yes, we finally got Rum Nitty versus drugs. Can't wait to see that matchup. But, uh, yeah, so Daylight was like, you know, he wanted Rum Nitty, and Rum Nitty, he said, he said something to the fact of, you know, Daylight, Rum Nitty's got to prepare for his, uh, his matchup with drugs. So, I mean, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, um, you got Rum Nitty, you know, who was one of the cats, and he called him out. This one's for you, Nitty. And it didn't happen. And now Daylight's saying that, um, he basically does not have a battle coming up and there are a lot of targets that he could have had like I know he wanted verb but I'm be honest with you I heard verb is battling calico it's just what I heard you know who am I I'm nobody you know what I'm saying I'm not endorsed by anybody I'm not endorsed by no league it's just me so and showtime is peace so whatever but that's what I heard um but daylight is a is a character that who he needs to stay busy you got to keep him gainfully employed because 
you want him to be battling. You definitely, you don't want him to get bored or to like be like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go back into music, which he can always do. But at the same time, you want, I wanna see if what he did versus Tay Rock channels on, you know what I'm saying? Can he continue with that same energy or was this just a one-time thing? I think knowing who he is and knowing what he's capable of doing, I would feel like it's something that he could continue to do because those way he puts those words together and those bars, like he's so, it's not surface rapping. A lot of people surface rap. And when I say surface rap, the punch, the bar, you get it right there. Boom, bam, boom, bam. You don't have to do no research with that shit. Like you can just recap it and everybody knows what it is, right? You don't have to do no research. It's no extra writing. It's no, like Showtime SP literally had to take three days to go through all of Daylight's bars, and then we still missed 98% of them. <laughs> I ain't gonna say 98%, but we still missed a good portion of bars and material, which is fine. I mean, our recaps are not rereading the whole battle. Like, y'all have to understand. I don't really watch a lot of other content, but I don't know who goes through the bars like we do, you know, and um, like Showtime SP does, because I mean, I can do it. I have the talent and ability to do it, but that's just something that he has such a passion about. And you know, that's why he does that. He's really good at what he does and I appreciate it. But uh, you know, I would like to see Daylight in some more matchups. Him not having anybody that wanted to step up and take that smoke. Um, and I know he was calling out K-Shine, but K-Shine's got past day. Uh, you know, that came, <laughs> that came out how it came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, it is what it is, man. I remember, Back in the days, if you used to find out a battle early and you said something about it, you know, niggas would be on your line like, yo, why you say that this joint happened, you fucking up the promo. Now it's like, up, oh, shit come out, niggas talk about it. Oh, well, you know, boy, the times have changed. So, um, you know, it's like Daylight is the type of person that I want to see battling. His battle versus Rock was a phenomenal battle. And even though Daylight, to me, got the win, uh, Rock did very well. Rock had one of his best performances. His first round was one of his best rounds. Uh, you don't play my way. If I spray my cane, knock your head off your shoulders. I sit day by day like he was wilding. And if that shit was in a, in, on a real stage, in a real room, he would have probably blew the roof off that bitch. To battle in a small room, no crowd. And that's the thing that we have to take into consideration about a lot of these battles. Like these guys are battling in small rooms, no crowd, no host, no nothing, new cameraman, you know what I'm saying, on a new platform, caffeine and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the times, it be looking like caffeine is trying to commercialize the shit like WWE. It's like fucking 15 camera and shit spinning around and all that. You have to take everything that you're normally used to and reduce it to the lowest level and start all over again. That's why you have some MCs that are able to perform in that environment. And you got other MCs, they're choking, they're breaking down and all this other stuff in their battles. You've seen... I MC like, um, no knock on him, Saga. In all of his battles before he got to this this area, he was like flawless. He was getting through his material, he wasn't choking. Now he's in these rooms like this, he choking, he can't remember his material, he's stumbling all over the place and shit. I don't know what's going on with him. I really don't. I'm, st I'm still a really, I like him as an MC, and I feel like he can get back. But lightning don't strike in the same place twice, so if it happens more than once, it's like, ah, uh, versus Mike P, that's one thing. But the turnaround and the shit happened again in the very next battle, it's like, come on, dog. And it wasn't as bad as it was versus Mike P, but the stumbles were there, the inconsistent flow was there. And you got a lot of MCs that they're predicated off of stopping. Like when they get crowd reaction, they be rapping, they be rapping, then they stop, and they wait for the reaction, and they bring their bars back. You're not gonna be able to do that shit in these type of rooms. Daylight didn't do that versus Rock. He just kept on going, like boom, 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 boom. You gotta keep on going. You can't be stopping and waiting for that little bit of reaction. You could hear it sometimes when a nigga punchline really rang, you could hear a little reaction from the back, but the reaction is not gonna save you. It really will not, because this type of area is gonna separate the MCs. Like you, if you're talented enough to do this shit on a high level, this type of environment is gonna separate it. Look at Nunna. Nunna just fucking came out of nowhere. Damn near nobody had this nigga pick and beat Loso because Loso, I feel like he underestimated him. I'm not gonna lie. Like when he got him, I'm pretty sure when he got Nunna, he looked at it like, oh, 
Next round, who I got next? And you cannot do that. That shit happens sometimes. Like when you overlook a lower seed, you get your fucking head knocked off. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, because it came down to the fans. You cannot let this shit come down to no fans and no battles like that. I know I'm a little off track, but let me get back on. So, um, Daylight basically let the, uh, let the world, well, he didn't let the world know. He let me know, and I'm letting you know. But I did tell him that, you know, don't play with me. Don't, don't, don't bullshit me and have me saying that you ain't got no opponent and all that. And then next thing you know, you pop up on a fucking trailer. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. But um, well, who knows, you know? They might watch this shit and get him an opponent just to prove all of this shit wrong. But other than that, you ain't know what to do or what it does, so you ain't gonna ask what it was. This blog, 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 was brought to you by the Nate Drink One Podcast. Make sure y'all subscribe to my dog channel. I'm gone. Everybody, this is your boy Nate Drink from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. I drop new episodes every Saturday and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support and remember, let's talk some sports, baby. And, and I'm out and jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on, cut me. Get the, get the hell out of here.